Okay. I promised a second video, and I've acquired a few more guns since the first video. Pistols, and uh, rifles, and revolvers, single action, um, and I'll just, I guess I'll just go over the, the new additions. Some of these are doubles because my wife and I often buy the same pistol. And I'm recording this on an iPad, so forgive me. Uh, full size. Oh, and these were all safety checked. They're all unloaded this time, so no safety comments. <laughs> um, full size MP. Four and a quarter inch. Yes. Um, barrel. Uh, Apex trigger, duty carry kit. Uh, I just I don't like the hinged triggers at all. But a lot of these guns are really accurate. And Trigicon night sights. They're just they're awesome. They're the best. And that one is my wife's, and she has the shorter. What do we have here? Streamlight, TLR3, and still have the long slide M&P with the full action enhancement kit, and that, that's just, that's about as far as it moves before the trigger goes off. You wouldn't want to carry that. Uh, same gun, this one's mine. Um, if I keep it by the nightstand, I have the uh, TLR-1, uh, Streamlight TLR-1 light for that, and these are nice. Uh, the M&P 9mm Compact, and, and the magazines are a lot of these. This one has the stock sights, and this one has Trigicon sights. And uh, I carried this a lot over the winter in a shoulder holster. Um, a Galco Miami Classic. I actually have several of those for different guns. And let's move around here. But an M&P 22. And there's that hinge trigger. Boy, that is just... That's atrocious. <laughs> I don't know where they ever camp with that idea. Um, it's got a thumb safety on it. It's the way they sell them. Magazine disconnect. So, couldn't pull the trigger if I wanted to. Let's get that magazine out of the way. Same Ruger SP-101, but with... Uh, I think that's a true glow. Fiber optic sight on there. It's just pinned in, not the pin out. Put the new one in. And I bought, I got rid of the, I didn't get rid of it, I still have it. The hoe grip in favor of the stock grip and had these uh, Chig grips made with the Ruger insert. They just came yesterday in the mail actually. So we still have, moving around the table, uh, the Beretta 950. Can't get rid of that. Um, showed this in the last video. It's the Ruger SR 1911 in 45 caliber. But I have really nice new grips on it. I think that looks pretty slick. And set that down. This is a my my wife's current carry gun. She can get away with it because she wears a fanny pack to carry this, but it is a Ruger SR 1911 lightweight commander. And this is actually pretty light. It's uh it comes out to weigh the same as the full-size M&P 
um, but she's just deadly accurate with a 1911. I, you know, she's good with uh, the striker fired pistols, but she can't miss. I mean, it, it's she shoots at an eight inch, um, one of those shoot and see targets. And she's always within six inches of the center with this. Or any 1911. So, still have all the SIGs. Um, 938. And the two, two 238s. And since my wife got a 9mm lightweight Commander Ruger... I got one, but mine's in 45 auto. And this has a Dawson Precision uh, fiber optic sight on it. And it's pretty accurate. Actually, the 1911s are just crazy accurate. And I should have pointed out that my wife's. Uh, Ruger Lightweight Commander has Trijicon HD sights. What a surprise. And so then I got some really neat stuff. We got some really neat stuff. This one's mine. Uh, an Uberti Smoke Wagon. Um, made in Italy. Is it made in Italy? It's made in Italy. <laughs> Some, somewhere in here it says made in Italy. Uh, hang on. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to pardon me. Uh, but it's holding an iPad and holding a pretty heavy gun at the same time. Um, it's the 1873 Colt replica. Uh, this one has the four clicks. And you pull it back two clicks. And then open up the loading gate. Boom. And you load your cylinders. And... It's nice. It's very accurate. This is chambered in 357 Magnum. Shoot 38 Special as well. And they have this uh, heat temper bluing on the uh, receiver part. And then the barrel's just blued. And even though that sight looks a little inaccurate. Let me pull the trigger back for that. A little imprecise. Uh... That it's really pretty good. Let that down. So, my wife likes shiny things, and she got the Ruger New Vaquero. Um, well, this is heavier. And I'd have to say that, uh, well, this is stainless steel. This is also a 357 Magnum 38 Special. Uh, the difference with this is, let's pull this gate open, it's a little stiffer. The difference with this is you don't have to pull the hammer back <clears throat> to um, load it up. The Uberti, the, uh, the hammer has to be pulled back two clicks to load it up. And there we go. Really solid lockup. It's just a really solid gun. Uh, the trigger is really good on both of these. I mean, when you bring that back all the way, there's, there's not much more to go when you pull that hammer back. And these are single action. So you have to pull the hammer back. Can't fire them double action. Uh, the Uberti just seems a little more crisp to me. And But they're both fine guns. Now... I was never a really big Bond fan. I didn't like Sean Connery. I didn't like Roger Moore. 
at all. Although he just recently died. I think it was today or yesterday. And I saw this. Um, there's a magazine here, but uh, trust me, it's empty. And I saw this at the local gun shop, and I had to have it. And this one is made in West Germany. Let's see if I can somehow... Where's the lens on this? Oh, it's all the way down the bottom. Okay. This is what happens when you film with an iPad. Okay, we're not getting anything. There it is. West Germany. Well, for those of you who know, there isn't a West Germany anymore. It's just Germany. <laughs> and this is an excellent shooting gun. Uh, the recoil is a bit harsh. This is a 1970. Uh, let's see if we can get that stamp on there. Boy, I wonder how much light this iPad actually needs. Yeah, you can barely see the 1970. Or just the 70, the 70 on the barrel. So it, it's a 1970 model. And it has the uh, decocker. Red for dead. And uh, great pistol. I carried this uh, for a while over the summer and then I had I, I actually did it myself uh, I rust blued it with the hydrochloric acid and it came out great so I'm afraid to carry it now because I don't want to get a scratch on it <sighs> there's a piece of dust on it <laughs> um, to strip this down it had the factory bluing on it and to strip it down uh, I used vinegar in a Tupperware container, and as soon as this was dropped into the vinegar, the bluing disappeared. Um, the first time I blued this with the hydrochloric acid, and there's some other acid in the uh, pl Plinkingtons, uh, what you do is you, you strip it down, uh, clean it with acetone, I used isopropyl alcohol, so I had a couple spots that, that I wasn't quite happy with um, instead of acetone. So, if you're lazy, you do things twice, especially if you're a perfectionist. A lazy perfectionist has to do things at least twice sometimes. And um, But when I put this in the vinegar to strip my finish off, it was really tough. I really had to scrub it. So what you do is put the acid on, clean it up really well, put the Plankington's acid on it. It rusts the gun uh, pretty quickly, about 45 minutes. And then you drop all the parts in boiling water. It turns black and there's still some soot left on it. And you uh, card that off or brush that off with a... Uh, uh, a, a brass brush and after five rustings and boilings this is what it looks like and um, looks great so then my luck continued <laughs> with PPKs and I walked into the same local gun shop which is also a range and I saw this for $25 more than I paid for the first one. And it had the box. It had the original receipt. This was made in 1992 um, by InterArms. And spin that around. Boy, it's so much easier to record. Now don't, you see the serial number, don't, don't call the uh, FBI and say my gun was stolen. <laughs> and hopefully I don't run out of time. Uh, stainless steel, I carry this quite a bit. I have a uh, Galco Classic, Miami Classic holster for it. And uh, it, it's just 100% reliable. It's super accurate. I love them. And But this is the one I carry because I'm not worried about the finish. It's stainless steel. And that is that. And I think I've reached my 15 minutes with a few seconds to spare. So... There you go, folks.